In today's video, I wanted to talk about how we're gonna handle elections during a pandemic. Unfortunately, it still looks like we're still going to have to practice social distancing, and it looks like there's no end in sight. So what steps are you gonna take as a board or as a manager to address your elections and your annual meetings? In today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. So for condominium associations, you're still gonna have some challenges, but not as many challenges as the HOA process. Let's start with the condo process. Remember, in order to host a valid election for condos, you do need 20% of the membership to vote. However, one of the benefits of the condo statute is that those votes can be mailed in. So where do you wanna have those votes mailed in? That's really a decision between the board and management. Those votes can either be mailed to the management office, to the attorney's office, or to the association's office. Remember, in a condo, you still have to host the annual meeting. So how should you host that annual meeting? We're making different recommendations, but one of the recommendations that our clients are liking is either having the manager or having a board member on site at the property and the rest of the membership can attend via Zoom. Now for homeowner association, the process is gonna be a little bit more complicated because it's based on your documents. Before I get into the process, I do wanna strongly urge you HOAs that if you haven't amended your documents, I would strongly recommend that you amend your documents now to change the election and voting process to be very similar to the condo statute. This is gonna allow things to be much easier and it allows for a much more streamlined process. With that said, you're gonna to need to look at your documents and see what the requirements are in order for you to host a valid election and host a valid annual meeting. What we're strongly urging you to do is to contact your association attorney so that you can coordinate something that's gonna work best for your association. So if you're a self-managed property or a property manager, let's not let these small obstacles hold us back from doing the job that we do best. If you want more information, feel free to reach out to us by going to managebyaffinity.com. Remember, we do have weekly videos coming out, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that alert button. Further, give us two thumbs up on LinkedIn and Facebook. I'll see you at the next video.